Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product Human Skin Texture Analysis using Image Processing Techniques Now we discuss the abstract for the process Melanoma spreads through the metastasis and therefore it has been proved to be very fatal a yeah, system to prevent this type of skin cancer is being awaited and is highly in demand. It is important to highlight that excess exposure of radiation from the sun gradually erodes the melanin in the skin. Moreover, such radiation penetrates into the skin, therefore destroys the melaninal cells. Melanomas are asymmetrical and have irregular borders, notched edges and color variations. So, analyzing the shape, color and texture of the skin lesions is important for melanoma early deductions. In this process, we have using the skin texture analysis to analyze the normal skin and the abnormal skin. So we have using the portable real-time non-inversive skill lesion deductions for the early deductions are proposed. So hence the process is more efficient and the reliable to extract the texture patterns. Hence the performance of the process is also esti estimated and to justify whether the process is efficient or not. Now we discuss the flow diagram for the process. At first the input image is taken from the dataset. The dataset is the folder which consists of the several input images. After getting the image from the dataset, the pre-processing is carried out. In this pre-processing step, we have to using the two steps first one is the filtering and then the second one is the enhancement in the filtering process we use the filters to remove the noise and in the enhancement process we have to boost up the image into a certain quality after the filtering and enhancement the segmentation is carried out in the segmentation process we using the k-means clustering method to segment the region separately here we using the n colors as four so we have getting the four type of clusters as an output from the four type we have choosing the any one type of clusters for the feature extraction module in the feature extraction module we use the glcm feature extraction extraction to extract the uh, certain data from the image so the GLCM is abbreviated as a gray level co-occurrence matrix. After the extraction of GLCM features, the genetic optimization is carried out to encoding the features or to eliminating the features. After the optimization process, the classification is done by using the three type of classifiers. The first one is the C4.5, then the second one is the SVM, then the third one is the CART. After the classification by these three classification, the performance and the comparisons for these three classification is estimated for accuracy sensitivity and then plotted as a graph. Now we discuss the initial running procedure for the process. At first to open the MATLAB 2013 and change the current directory. If you want to execute the code means just right click in the skin1.m file and select the option run now the initial GUI design was opened at first click the button load image after clicking the button load image the dataset folder was open in that select any one image from the dataset now click the button grayscale analysis after clicking the button grayscale analysis the original image is converted into the grayscale format at first the original image is the in the rgb model so we have to segregate the red green and blue channel separately the first figure indicate the rgb image the second figure indicate the red channel image third figure indicate the green channel image and the fourth figure indicate the blue channel image then click the button noise removal 
in this noise removal we apply the gaber for the noise removal filtering then uh, applying the gaber textures we have to apply the histogram after applying the histogram analysis the histogram value will take the color features from the image then apply the k-means clustering the k-means clustering is used to segment the image so here we use the k-means clustering after using the original image is shown in the subplot 1 in the subplot 2 the cluster index image is shown then the remaining 4 images represents the 4 type of clusterings then click the button feature extraction after clicking the button feature extraction the feature is collected from the image and then the te texture features are plotted in the graph format after the feature extraction module the classification will be undone here we use the three type of classification the first one is the c 4.5 then the second one is the svm classification then the third one is the cart when click the button c 4.5 the image is not matched then the status of the image is affected then click the button SVM classification the status of the input is affected then click the card classification the status will be shown in the edit box is affected thanks for watching this video